when you heard that HUD had given Hilltop a passing score of 61, how did that make you feel? Awful because they don't deserve a 61. This, these apartments are failing. It's ridiculous. And, then, and the crazy part of, about it is that inside the house you're being terrorized by the mice, mm -hmm. but outside you're being terrorized by the people. Hilltown Village Apartments is an affordable housing community, one of dozens of properties here in Florida managed by Cambridge Management Incorporated. Senator Rubio sent in his own team to see the deplorable conditions. Now, his office pointed out that HUD had not inspected Hilltop Village since 2015. Even though the owner was paid more than $5 million in federal money in the years since it was supposed to be inspected. As a mother, what's it like to live here with young kids? <laughs> it's stressful. It's hard. Depressing. Mm. Mm, all the above. It's like you dying on the inside because there ain't nothing that you can really do. Last week, I had someone walk three flights of stairs and take my purse. I sleep on my couch because of the mice. It's easier for me to see them. And I got dishes that up in that cabinet with her, um, rats laid babies in because mm -hmm. I was going to cook some greens that morning. And I say, what is these? I think it's worms in my pots. I never knew what baby mice looked like until I seen the tail and it was laid flat and I saw her video. She said, those rats. Hilltop scored a 61 C out of 100, but a C is considered life-threatening conditions. When I first moved out here, I complained of the mold. City came out, but they didn't do anything. They, they reported it to them, and they just told me to solve the problem. I called Hood. Um, I had, I've been on the waiting list for Hood for seven years, and when I called them, they was very rude. I cannot live a normal life. I can't go outside and, and enjoy myself. Rubio has called the owner of the Hilltop Village, Eastside Terrace and Eastside Gardens complexes slumlords. Recent HUD inspections show conditions are so bad they are considered life-threatening to residents. I'm going to be visiting the Eureka Garden Apartments in Jacksonville, Florida which is a Section 8 apartment complex that is supposed to provide affordable and safe living conditions for low-income members of the Jacksonville community. But it doesn't. Instead, its tenants have for years been subjected to dangerous, often downright disgusting living conditions. They saw crumbling stairs. They saw black mold. They saw exposed electrical wiring that had been covered up by a trash bag. They smelled the natural gas that would soon hospitalize residents days later. Senator Marco Rubio did not mince words as he toured Eureka Gardens for the first time, seeing deplorable living conditions. He told me that Eureka Gardens is nothing but an old-fashioned slum. Yeah, what you guys have done is horrifying and unexcusable. Well, and I hope you, I'm going to come in and I hope you'll tell your principal that we look forward to bringing all the full, full bear of every agency I can to look at the way he does business. Look at all the yeah. restorations that are underway. You mean the ones you did before I came? HUD's inspections aren't working. Just recently, HUD revealed that Eureka Garden passed with a score of 62. The passing score is a 60. Something is clearly wrong with the inspection process and Floridians are being hurt because of it. Well, I am a resident here in Jacksonville, Florida, and so I was able to see growing up as a child the challenges in which the residents has um, gone through out here. They have been living out here all those years without air conditioning. I couldn't believe that not just Americans were living in these conditions, but that federal and government dollars we're paying for it. Nearly $28.3 million. That's your money. HUD sent that money without actually inspecting these properties when they were supposed to, to make sure that the landlords are keeping up with their promise to the government to provide the people who live here with a healthy and safe living environment. For every Eureka Garden, there's dozens of others around the country. There's some going on right now in this community and in the state. They exist all over the place. If we determine that congressional action is necessary, then I am prepared to take it. The residents of Eureka Gardens deserve safe living conditions, and we're going to make sure that that's exactly what they get. When the help of the senator and other officials was there to change, it became a new management. The Millennial Company came in and renovated the apartments, and now I feel like I don't have a place to stay, but a home to be proud of. What was happening was pretty simple. What was happening was that someone owned it, 
They took the money and they put the least amount possible in maintaining it. In maintaining it. And the rest of the money was being diverted to another entity that this so-called charity owned. And that's when this whole process began. And we actually, oh, I, I think by June or July of that year, we had passed a law that actually changed the process of inspections. To be able to see him come out, to see the changes, to be able to see that he didn't just talk about doing something. He didn't just talk about getting somebody out here to do something. It was actually done. And today we were able to see that happen. The role that he made was somebody with authority that could come in and say, E and the rest of these people in this residence are living in a terrible situation and somebody needs to fix it now. And that's what he came and did for us. You know, a government official that showed somebody has to step in where nobody wanted to. And he gathered the people together and made it work. And now we're here today with our new apartment, you know, living good. I'm just like, ah, uh, I'm just excited with it. This place symbolizes not just the change, it symbolizes the hope. It gives people hope that there is a way forward to make things better for people no matter what the problem would be. How long have you been in this unit already? October last year. This is all, all the appliance, the yes. cabinets, everything? Yeah. And it's all gas here, I guess? This is yes. the, yeah. yeah. Everything brand new. This is great. I mean, this is unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you guys for letting us come in. No, we appreciate thank it. Thank you. Congratulations. My hope is that we can point to places like this and say, look, it was possible. They got it done there. You know, when you're living in a low income, base income base apartments or whatever people look at you different as if you don't have life i just want people to take their feelings out of it and just know that human beings are asking for help i'm not a subject or a statistic i'm just an individual it's the forgotten places it's the places that people drive by and move through but never stop to look and understand what's happening today is just the beginning of the beginning because there are more places like this there's more work to be done and there's more uh, places that need to be improved and, and facilities that need to be invested in and that we have to care about and that we have to focus on places such as hilltop villages east side gardens and east side terrace are just a few examples of the work left to be done it won't be easy but slumlords have been put on notice. My staff and I remain committed to fighting for Florida to ensure that residents in federally subsidized housing are living in safe and sanitary conditions.